what's the difference between a hurting official and eating gut? Um, you, you don't need to really differentiate those two to say eating gut is more gentle action, gentle talking, and it's relatively smooth output, but hurting official is kind of quick action and then a little bit harsh way to talk or behavior. It can be like that. Why it is hurting official is because the child spirit is controlling the official spirit. If child spirit is too big, it, it is in controlling cycle. If child spirit is fire, official spirit is metal. So fire controls metal. Those two can anyway hurt the official. So that is just the mechanism of the five element cycle. So you don't need to differentiate really seriously. Anyway, any kind of child spirit can hurt the official, which means that is official spirit is our boundary, our territory. Official spirit is what I have to follow. It, it is the rule in my life, rule in my job, rule in my school, rule in my family. And child spirit is something that is coming from myself and then make a change. I think my opinion is more important. I think my action is more important. So that one can break the rule sometimes. That is the meaning of hurting official. I want to do something that is sometimes break the rule, right? So that is, that is not really, mm, you don't need to really think seriously. Yeah, <laughs> that is naturally happening. Yeah, if you want to be innovative, you want to be different from the previous system. So that is hurting official. Previous official, you need to break that. And you can be an innov innovative person like a Steve Jobs. So both are similar, yeah. The character of eating God and hurting official is less, less important but more important is balanced child spirit is more like a eating gut, I would say. Because that's really proper amount of output, proper amount of going out and doing some party. We all need that. So balanced child spirit is closer to eating gut character, more smooth, more makes sense. But too much child spirit is always hurting the official, always, the, always break the rule, the too much thing in, in the child spirit character. Yeah, the hurting official is too much. I heard if in daily master having in child spirit drain energy more rather than yang child spirit. Oh, it is it is different. If in daily master the yang energy is draining more energy, but you don't need to really. <laughs> you have to see more big bigger picture. You you have a lot of child spirit in your chart, even though that is in or yang. That is more important than one character is in or one character is yang. But then too much child spirit with a weak daily master is actually an unfavorable element. Yeah, that unfavorable element for the weak daily master chart can have the, some kind of hurting official character because it can drain you. Yeah, it can drain you, but you can create a lot of ideas. Like I always uh, make an example of the Steve Jobs. He drains his energy a lot and get a cancer, right? So that is the like symbolical person of the child spirit dominant. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six more. So too much child spirit people can use that skills very well. Use that skills here and there. They can avoid the laws. They can avoid the rules, which means hurting official situation. They can control, they can kind of control the official. So they can be very tricky. A lot of tricks. They're, they're crafty. Is that the right meaning? Cunning. <laughs> too less is easy. Unskilled, tactless. And they're some, somewhat rigid. When they learn something, they only can use one thing. <laughs> if too much child spirit, if they learn one thing, they can use, apply that in hundred different ways. So that's the too much. So it is, I said, unhealthy way, but they also have the strength. Too much is always the strength, but they can be unhealthy in some way. Yeah, too much story storytelling go goes here and there, just rambling. Too much story, TMI, too much information, <laughs> here and there, incoherent. And this thing and that thing is not really relative but they keep talking this and that one. It's kind of social life, right? Oh, hello, Paula. From Portugal, wow. Thank you for joining. So if two less storytelling, it's like, yeah, unspeakable. <laughs> unspeakable, logical. Sometimes too much can be not logical. Too less is definitely not logical. But yeah, I, I would delete the illogical, yeah. Quiet. And sometimes if really strong daily master, really strong daily master, and there is no output, so they have a lot of resources with mother spirit and they're really strong and there is no output. So they can go to the autism sometimes. They cannot, they have so many things inside of them and then they cannot really drain that energy. Let's follow 
other people's opinion. And if they have too much idea, too much opinion, they can force their opinion to other people. And dictatorship coming from that, too much their idea, too much their opinion. They kind of force their idea to other people. Because child spirit is my will. It's, it's pure my will. So if that is too much, they usually think their opinion is mostly right. The revolution or rebellion happens from that. If too much child spirit, yeah, they try to force their thinking and ideas. Too much ideas as well. Similar to too much creativity, too much idea. So too many ideas. It's just rambling superficially. So they, they know generalized knowledge very well, but not in, really deep, not in a really deep way. They like to reach out their, their mind to everything. So they look very smart. But when we try to ask a question in a deep way, they are kind of not thinking about that. Yeah, they just reaching their ideas in, the, in many brand, They create many branches. It's a, a, another strength, actually. So practical ability, already talked about that. They cannot really apply to the real world, which means they could be theoretical. Like it's official spirit dominant, actually, character, because if child spirit is large, usually official spirit is really less. If child, if child spirit is really small, official spirit could be really dominant because it's in the controlling cycle. They cannot be strong at the same time. So they can be theoretical. Too much official spirit, too much rules, too, too much principle in their mind. Or, or what they, they cannot apply. They can, like, too less child spirit people cannot really apply some kind of knowledge in a proper way. So I don't want to say this, but use less behavior, use less skill can come out from that if that is too less. But I will just cross this out. This is not, not a positive. There's no positive, but yeah. And social skill is coming from that. So it's unsocial, especially the two less unsocial, more private. Oh, <laughs> there is lack of child spirit. And child spirit, if child spirit is too much, they want to go out more. They want to go out more. They want to socialize more. It's too much socialize, socializing. Too much friends, superficially, but not in a deep way. It could be one or two good friends, can be. And it's their style. I cannot say one is healthy, one is not healthy, but practical ability, apply knowledge. That is the kind of strength. <laughs> Very good. It is the really good strength for too much child spirit people. Can we say can't keeping secret? The, the too much child spirit? Yes, they, they say everything. <laughs> but not everyone, not everyone. They, they used to, they used to cannot really keep the secret, but not everyone. I know one really close person who can keep secret very well, even though that person is child spirit dominant. Yeah, so this, this direction between child spirit and official spirit is really the key point. The child spirit is hurting the official spirit or not. It is, it is the key of the relationship between child spirit and other, other ten spirit. Usually child spirit dominant people, they have large wealth spirit as well, because it's in the output realm. And usually the input side, input realm is weak, either mother spirit or official spirit, which is in controlling cycle. So usually that happens, official spirit is the work situation. So if too much child spirit, they tend to want to <laughs> quit their job. That is the meaning of hurting official. But it's not a negative meaning. Sometimes we need that. We need to quit the job. Certain, there's certain time for everyone to have that support from the child spirit energy. And then that moment is we can quit the job. We can, we can try to do other stuff. And also it's the moment of resign. But in a negative way, in a negative way, child spirit dominant, too much child spirit can show the hostile, hostility, rude, they think their opinion is more important, rebellious, combative, illegal. And cheating can happen from that because they can avoid the official spirit, which is rule. Child spirit can make people do the illegal things sometimes. So this time is also time for foundation, like creating their own business establishment. Because usually if child spirit become too much, they don't want to listen to other people. They don't want to be controlled by other people, boss or teacher or mother. See, mother spirit is become weak if child spirit is too much. So they want to create their own thing. It's good time for do their business, starting, starting own business. 
A two-less child spirit is ruled by those input realm, as we said. Usually this is lack of acting, lack of action. And that is, the, that is all the meaning of two-less child spirit. But usually too much is always more making a problem. So I want to focus more on the too much child spirit. Usually lots of guts. <laughs> like they can do uh, whatever they want. It's not negative meaning. Yeah. Okay, uh, it has been already two hours. <laughs> so I might have to see you guys next time. Oh, Christian, hello. Perhaps I missed something, but I don't understand the difference between too less or too much and hurting official eating God. For what I understand until now, they are not the same, are they? Yeah, I'll describe that. Actually, it is not very important to my lineage. Hurting official or, or eating God, those are not very important. Going to sleep now, bye bye, Hendrik. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. It's too late there. I already covered all material I prepared. So so usually like this, the yang to yang or yin to yin is called as an eating gut. If yin yang is different, yin to yang or yang to yin, that is called as hurting official. But I do not really care. I do not really care about that. <laughs> this is too too large. I really not do not care about that. Many people might disagree, but the important thing is, anyway, child spirit is controlling the official spirit. Child spirit controls the official spirit. So it, either it is eating God or hurting official. Anyway, it hurts the official spirit. So that's the character of the child spirit. So usually I think I more consider too much child spirit. It has some kind of hurting official character. And balanced child spirit comes out like an eating God in a smooth and balanced way. So you do not need to really seriously differentiate those two as yin and yang aspect. I more care about too much or balance. Okay? Night is still young. <laughs> okay. Christian, uh, uh, I decide to do one week for 8 or 9 p.m. at night. Maybe 8 p.m. might be better. 8 p.m. at night and one week at 3 to 4 p.m. So the European people can join once every two weeks. So one week, 8 p.m., one week, 3 p.m., like that. Today was the trial <laughs> to really start in the afternoon. We might have to wrap up here today. Thank you, everyone. I will see you guys next week. All right? Yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, Ilona, you're here. Thank you so much.